Hey everybody, Black and Injust 797 here, and welcome back to another video, guys. In today's video, we're going to be doing another Left 4 Dead ranking video, and this Left 4 Dead ranking video, we're not going to be ranking Left 4 Dead content here today, funnily enough. We are going to be ranking all the Left 4 Dead competitors slash ripoffs. This is going to be a really interesting video. We're going to be talking about a variety of different games that have tried to overthrow Left 4 Dead before in the past, but have failed for one reason or another. And it's going to be fun to rank them and be able to see which one did the best and which one got the closest overall. So yeah, we've got five main competitors here today. I specifically picked these five because even though there could be theoretically endless copycats, I wanted to narrow it down to these couple of things. Number one is that these games are either blatant copies, whether it's like implying that it's a copy in its marketing or just the description of the game. It's extremely similar fundamental wise via the gameplay and the mechanics and even to a certain degree the story elements like the types of things that they're trying to do. Or people just before have compared it in the past to a Left 4 Dead copycat and that's how we're going to be classifying in this video. So that's why I got just these main five. But we're going to be ranking them in my opinion from the worst to the best. You guys can let me know in the comment section down below what you think. But yeah guys let's rank all the Left 4 Dead copycats or ripoffs. Alrighty guys, so coming in at our number one spot, or in this case technically number five, is going to end up being the Left 4 Dead Roblox parodies. Now, I put these on the list because these are literal ripoffs of Left 4 Dead, and I mean that in the most honest way possible. I'm not even saying that to be ironic, it's literally just ripoffs. It's these small little indie games by kids that are meant to basically plagiarize Left 4 Dead. If you wanted Left 4 Dead but with more screaming children, this is your go-to. So yeah, this is going to end up being the very first spot. If you guys ever want to end up seeing any fundamental gameplay or core aspects of this, you can always end up checking out my video on it. I did make a video about this just recently a couple months ago, so you guys can check that out. But yeah, Roblox, it's always been a parody game, it's always been a joke game. Its main core essence is just ripping off other games. And a lot of kids like that. It's one of the most popular children's games you can ever see because it's basically a glorified sandbox of 100% every game you can think of, even though they are very poorly made. But they're just for fun and they're not meant to be taken seriously. So yeah, I'm pretty sure there is some little kids that are like, I want to play Left 4 Dead, but my mommy won't let me. So they play Roblox and then there you go. So yeah, that's going to be coming in with our very first spots. So yeah, Left 4 Dead Roblox. Funnily enough, it's enough to be considered a copycat. Alrighty, now coming in at the next spot, this is going to end up being... Oh god, help us all. This is probably going to give you guys PTSD. If you do not know what I am referring to when I am talking about Evolve, oh boy, oh boy, this is a long one. Let me explain. Essentially, Evolve was meant to be the original spiritual successor to Left 4 Dead back in the day. And this game flopped extremely hard and the main reason why was the absolutely disgusting and egregious microtransactions that took place in the game the microtransactions in this game were absolutely just downright offensive on how much that they wanted to milk your pockets they charge for every little single thing that was in the game and you never were able to end up getting the full experience because you just didn't have enough money to be able to play it, it was essentially a incomplete game Always. Not even at launch, but I mean just like always. Because unless you are really rich and you have the ability to pay for this absurdly expensive game in its entirety, you'll never have the full game. And that's one of the things that sucks about any of the games that were from roughly about like 2012 to 2019. It was mostly especially bad from 2013 to 17, those five years roughly where just supply drops were still at the forefront of video games, and they still are to a certain degree in some games, such as Apex Legends and Splitgate, but however though, they're a lot more calmer now. And the thing is, with Evolve in particular, is that this was one of the games that was at its absolute worst. It's not like on Battlefront 2 levels of Egregious, but it's close. It's not enough to be illegal, but you could get to the point where it's like, yeah, this is just downright offensive. And if this would have came at a different time, I can definitely see people getting fed up and festered enough that they would consider this the Battlefront 2 incident type of game. So yeah, Evolve, it really was nothing other than just basically a glorified slot machine playing off of nostalgia. I never played this game, I will probably never play this game, and I really just do hope that eventually one day 
that just game developers period not not necessarily any particular one but i do hope that just all game developers just understands that you can only end up going so far trying to end up being all about the money so never end up trying to do this again for the love of god please devs and let's just move on with our lives and end up just playing video games to play video games now we have got Earthfall coming in at our number 3 spot, and Earthfall is the game that I was the least familiar with out of all these games, but it's the most similar to Left 4 Dead thus far. Earthfall is a cooperative 4 character survival horror shooter, but the main difference between this and Left 4 Dead is that instead of zombies, you've got aliens. And with the aliens in this game, it goes everywhere in terms of the storyline, even up to the guns, because you can find some alien specific guns in this game. But there's a lot of Left 4 Dead elements, such as the fact that there's four survivors in a horror shooter setting with uh, horde summoning events and the ability to end up having special monsters that have special unique abilities to them in particular. This game really didn't do that hot, it did quite poor actually. It's okay. And it is, you know, a decent shooter. It's not like it's the Roblox shooter. Although I, I will say is that Evolve was only just barely better because of the fact that it was graphically and functionally better. But if it was any, like, less graphically appealing and functional, it would have been honestly lower than Roblox. But Earthfall, I will give it this, is that it does function well. You can tell it's a really solid game meant for the next generation of consoles. But that's really all it has going for it. And other than that, it's just a generic Left 4 Dead ripoff that has really no staple or really a uh, quality thing about it that makes it stand out. The next two are at least a little bit better than these previous three, but unfortunately the thing is though is there will just be nothing that's like Left 4 Dead. Alrighty guys, now coming in our second to last spot, this is going to end up being World War Z. Now, World War Z, you may be the most familiar with its movie that came out in the year 2013, but there also was a video game, and the video game was pretty solid, and it felt a lot like, once again, the mechanics that were in Left 4 Dead, with a four-person shooter horror survival game that had chapter-based campaign missions that combined into one big story with special infected cool guns unique characters and stuff like that and this game i did play for a decent amount of time this one game in particular i did play the whole entire way through and there was even some dlc expansions for it and i know that my brother really loves this game my brother my younger brother nate he really likes world war z and he still plays it to this very day although he ends up playing only certain select modes and he just thinks it's really cool. I personally prefer the Left 4 Dead franchise, but that is just me. I can respect the fact that he does still like that game, and I'm glad for him that he does like that game. It means that it must have some longevity to him. But when it comes to the fundamental core aspect of it, it just doesn't end up hitting the mark for me. It is like Left 4 Dead in the, the consciousness, like the idea of it. But the shell is really showing when it comes to this. It feels hollow, it feels empty, it doesn't have the soul or the life that Left 4 Dead had. If it had more, I guess you could say personality, because that's really what it felt like it was lacking, it probably could have done more successful. But unfortunately, it doesn't really do well for itself other than just being a movie-based video game. And that's okay, there's been a lot of games like that, I know a lot of video games are just based off of movies and like TV shows and just are meant just for funsies and kind of are like just one-offs. But if that's all it has going for it, it makes it where it has no replay value to me. So all I really can see is that you might want to play it if it's just on the Game Pass or if it's free with Epic, but that's really all it's got at the end of the day. Alrighty guys, now coming in at the number one spot, you already knew what this was going to end up being. This is going to end up being Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, the ultimate game of the year, and in my eyes is the best Left 4 Dead ripoff that we have seen thus far. No, I'm just kidding guys, so it's of course going to end up being Back for Blood. Even though the full game is yet to be released, the beta was pretty solid. And it really does show that it's very, very similar to Left 4 Dead. Of course, with some exceptions such as the card system being in the game, some of the special infected and the survivors are different, and they all also have different abilities, because even the survivors have abilities in Back 4 Blood. 
We've got even some funky things such as attachments, being able to aim down sights, a whole bunch of different stuff, but the core gameplay is really identical to Left 4 Dead. And this is the most identical Left 4 Dead spiritual successor, if you will, that we will probably ever have because it's being made by Turtle Rock, who was the original developers of Left 4 Dead. Now, the Left 4 Dead may not ever end up having a third installment, so that's why I really do think that Back for Blood is probably going to be the closest thing we'll ever get to a, a successor. It's just because Valve is awfully quiet about their games and really only makes them once in a blue moon. So my wish is this, I do really hope that Back for Blood ends up honoring what it set out to do, which is being the official spiritual successor to Left 4 Dead. That is at least until hopefully one day a true Left 4 Dead 3 will come out. But since Turtle Rock was the ones that originally made Left 4 Dead in the first place, I have my hopes. But yeah, I'm going to be basically saying this in conclusion. When it comes to Back for Blood, it looks very promising, but Turtle Rock, I swear to God, if you make it anything that has to do with anything related to Evolve, I am going to end up slapping you in the face. But yeah, guys, I hope you ended up enjoying today's video, and if you did, please consider dropping a like comment, subscribe, and all that beautiful stuff. If you guys would like to financially support the channel, I definitely appreciate if you guys could go check out my Patreon. It's always linked down below in my YouTube video descriptions. Or you guys could use supporter creator code BLACKNINJA797 in all caps in the Fortnite and Epic Games item shops because that is also very much appreciated because Epic is my very first sponsor. And today's video is sponsored by Epic Games. So shout out to Epic. But I hope you guys end up enjoying another YouTube video for the most sneaky YouTuber you guys are ever going to see. Thank you for watching, guys, and peace out. Hey, meme lords, Jesus here, and you better have enjoyed that video there by the eternal god Daddy Ninja. You should probably subscribe too, or the mighty Moab will come for your balls. If you enjoyed the video, you might like it too, and give me the memes. Flash, bang, boom!